Okay, we'll go ahead and pick up uh, right where we left off. Um, should have all this coding already. Um, already done from the last video. Got a wrapper, header, content, and a footer tag, and you have your style sheet linked here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, start by styling this thing right up. Um, if you look down here in your uh, design view, there's three different views. You got your code view, split view, and uh, design view. If you look in your design view, these things are kind of set, not up in the corner yet. So what we're going to do with this um, CSS is we're going to set this wrapper div right up snug right there in the corner. And the way you do that is you set a body, open a squiggly bracket there, we're going to set the margins to zero, and we're going to set the padding to zero. And then make sure you close it, and it pushes everything right up there into the uh, corner there. And that's exactly what we want. So now we're going to start out by, um, some people say div and then the pound sign, but um, pound sign is just okay. So we're going to start out by div, wrapper, close it. We're not going to code anything. We're just going to make sure we get everything in here. Header was the next one. Uh, then we got content. That's the next one. And then footer. Okay, so now we have all these. Now we're ready to um, make sure we can code these right. Um, so now what we do, CSS is real easy. We're going to set this, um, first thing we're going to do is set the margin to uh, zero and auto. What this is going to do, that's going to center your entire page. Um, don't see it yet because we don't have a width set. Um, I usually set the width between uh, 800 and 850 pixels. Um, Again, it's just dependent on what kind of website you're going to make. You can set it to 1,000 pixels wide. We'll set it to 850 pixels. Make sure you put PX at the end. Now you can see this is uh, auto margins set um, to display in the center. Um, turn your live view on. You're not going to see anything yet because nothing's in there. So we want to see those. Um, we're going to set the header tag. First tag inside the thing. We'll set this uh, width to uh, oops. width, we'll set the width to, uh, we'll say, 8 or 20 pixels. Um, you can set it to the exact same thing if you want. Um, so we said we set a width smaller than the uh, wrapper. We're also going to have to say um, uh, set an auto margin here as well. Um, let's go back to the coding here. And we'll just put a uh, h1 tag in here so we can have a little bit of content. <clears throat> um, just to show you uh, where this is going to be at. So now, if you click on here, we got a wrapper tag and we got the header div. Um, so for this content one, we'll just set a, we'll put a little paragraph tag in there and we'll say this is the uh, text for content and close that. Um, now we have these uh, all separated. Um, we're going to go ahead and style the content now. Content, we'll set the width to the exact same uh, width as the uh, header tag. Uh, so we're going to set the margin as well then. Margin set to zero and auto. Oh, I put this wrong. 800, we'll say 820 pixels in the last one. Okay, so there we go. That's set. So we got content snug right next to the header. And then uh, this footer tag, we're going to make this footer tag the same width as the um, header and the content. Uh, you, like you said, some people don't even set a um, width to the content. In the header, um, just because it's, you know, if you wanted it that wide, then you would um, do that. But we'll go ahead and set this footer tag to uh, 820 pixels. Width 820 and margins uh, zero and auto. Okay, we'll start again on the next video um, by adding some stuff in the footer so you can see it.